Dad wasn't there for the vlog. Like, I'm at this new temple. We're here in LA. Right? It's cold as hell. But there are so many beautiful YouTubers here. Look, Chocolate City. Yes. It's so true. trying to get something to eat and it's pretty chilly out freezing <laughs> it's you guys like, are real nonchalant like oh, I'm, just, I'm a tad bit hungry no i'm starving yeah we're we've been trying to get something to eat for like the past three hours now girl and now we're heading over to saddle ranch we're walking on what is this sunset Sunset Boulevard. Yes. <laughs> See, this is what happens when a New Yorker comes out to LA. <laughs> so the fact that you don't even know the street. You're right? I'm about. like, I'm um done. Yeah. I'm done. But you know, I'm gonna get something to eat and then uh head back up to my room and prepare for tomorrow. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up and welcome once again to my channel. Today I'm doing somewhat of a quick little vlog. So as you guys can see, the setting is completely different because I am not home. I am in Los Angeles right now um, at this event. So pretty much my room looks not a hot mess, but I literally just woke up. Sorry. I just woke up and so it's 7.31. So lies, I woke up at... I got up at 6.40, so I'm pretty much getting ready to head down to get some breakfast um, because we pretty much have the whole day set up for ourselves. I'm going to go down and get some breakfast at 8.30 and um, I'm about to beat my face um, because at first I really wasn't going to, but then... You know, with the series of events that's taking place today, it's kind of like Ali. You have to be on your sh so nothing too crazy, you know. As long as I'm comfortable and in my skin, that's all I care about. But yeah, I'm about to um, do my makeup now, and then I'll check back in with you guys when I'm done. Okay, so I'm finally done um, getting ready. I actually have to start heading down now. Um, so I opted for my little uh, space ball look just because, sorry, I'm trying to find like good lighting where you guys can see. Um, okay, so boom, I opted for my space ball look, um, which I've been doing a lot more of lately. This one didn't really come out as shapely as the other one, but eh, I gave up after a while and it's time for me to head down soon so i wasn't about to try to make it perfect so um as long as it looked good to me i don't really care um i was gonna wear my hair out originally but the ends of my hair was still damp so i just decided to pull it up and then later on tonight you know i'll blow dry it or whatever put some permarots in to curl it up but yeah, about to head down to get some breakfast. And then, as I mentioned before, there's going to be a presentation going on. <clears throat> so I'm going to start making my way down. Otherwise, I'm going to be late. And I don't like people staring at me when I show up places because it's awkward. <laughs> but um, yeah. I just finished <laughs> Nothing about YouTube. <laughs> to be honest with you. 
because I watch YouTube to watch people fall down. Okay? <laughs> the girl at the, at the graduation who wore the wrong heels, I can watch that over and over again. Never get tired of that. Uh, what else do I do? My, my kids watch YouTube because they watch cartoons in French. And, uh, and I was about it on my TV. <laughs> so they watch it on YouTube. And I, I see what y'all are doing. I know it's a lot of uh, hair, natural hair. Yeah, there you go. That's beautiful. That's really beautiful right there. That's all this is beautiful. I, I went natural hair. Guys, I'm Quinta. Um, if you do know me, thanks for watching my stuff. Um, you are a big, huge okay. inspiration. I, wa I watched the, the How to Know Your Boyfriend. Oh, that was great. Thanks, Very fun. Thanks. Very fun. Y'all see that one? Yeah. yeah. I watched your stand up special. Um, so, okay. equal. Cool. Equal. Cool. Um, I'm really excited to meet you because you are definitely a pioneer for. So many different reasons. Like, uh, I'm a big fan of Chris Rock, and I know you uh -huh. opened for him and right. came out during that time where not only there weren't a lot of black female comics, but there weren't any. I don't think that's something classical within the context of us. There's a place for you. And then after that, and I don't even know if Ryan Tarkin is here. I don't think he made it. But uh, I'm working with anyone familiar with the Black House Foundation. Uh, with Sundance. Mm -hmm. We're working with them to create what we're calling right now, we have a proposal, we're figuring out the uh, Black House Renaissance Project, where we have a very small like, incubator for our young voices of color. So rather than having to depend on these you know, organizations that try to do good work, that let in one or two and then celebrate those one or two, we have something specifically designed for us. So we have a lab in the summer that we're looking for people behind the, you know, behind the, uh, the camera. We bring them in, I introduce them to the Charles Kings, to the Stephanie Elaine's, to the, you know, Lena Wade, to all the different people that are here to serve. So I got in the car, I drove nine hours, and I ended up in St. Louis. And I went originally to bear witness. That was what I went to go do. I knew two things, I had a question and a belief. The question was, what is happening? And the belief was that something, that something wasn't right, and that the story that mainstream media was telling was not true. And I got in the car, drove nine hours, I put up on Facebook that I'm going to St. Louis, and that I didn't know anybody in St. Louis, but I believed that somebody would find somewhere for me to sleep, and that would work out. So seven hours in, I got a call, and they said, DeRay, we found a friend of a friend of a friend, and that was my story. That's how I ended up in St. Louis. I packed uh, three t-shirts, four pair of underwear, and one pair of socks, and I just went out on the street. But at the beginning, it was just about bearing witness. I just wanted to see, and the second day that I was in St. Louis was the first day that I got tear gas. Uh, like so many other people. And it was like a scene out of a movie. You know, behind me there were cars. Uh, to my left there was a gate, we couldn't go anywhere. Uh, and in front of me there were like 400 police officers. And it was the first night of the curfew in St. Louis. And the curfew was at midnight. And at 8 o'clock somebody threw a water bottle at the 300, 400 police officers. Uh, and they acted like somebody threw a grenade. And they just like came <laughs> full force at us. And they started shooting tear gas. And, you know, I don't know if any of you have ever gotten tear gas, but uh, it comes out in these big canisters, and there's like a scene out of a movie. So there's a canister that falls in my left foot, a canister that falls in my right foot, and there's just smoke. And I'm standing there like, this is not good. And I couldn't go to my left because there was a gate, couldn't go behind me because there's cars. Uh, and I put my head in my shirt, and I just ran forward. And I got on the other side, and I was, I remember opening my eyes, and I was just so happy. And I was happy because I could see. And tear gas can make your contacts see to your eyes, and I wear contacts. So I had that moment of being like, thank God I can see. Uh, and then my face started staying in and my neck started staying in and all that stuff, but... You guys should be collaborating. Put the effort together to promote and build and create alliances with each other. That's how you're going to create and get the views and the value. So you have to sort of value yourself enough to figure out creatively around the challenges that you have. You guys should be... And you know the system better than I do, but however it works, how best it works, Use it and stop sometimes being so afraid that the competitiveness that if I get I, if I keep the information or the fear that I can't move forward, you should create alliances. About this event, and when I heard about it, I thought like, how? Well, first of all, I just thought like, how could I miss it? Um, because it's the first time we've done it, and I think it's really, really important for us to have these types of events. And. Um, the freedom of expression I actually hold really near and dear to my 
apart in, in many ways. Um, and I want to get to know you and hear, actually, actually, so hearing, a lot of times what I find is that as, like, and why I love going and talking to creators is because they tell me things I didn't know. They tell me things that I wasn't aware of or issues that they face that we can actually fix easily, but we just didn't know about it. Um, and so I actually thought Akila's article was about... The less thoughts, noise you have, the more able you are to see the world and it's all the beauty that it has and, and, and all the holes that it has. All, so you have seconds where things are born, you've been in those seconds, um, you know, the car accident and everything moves slow, right? Or uh, just music that just takes you away from the noise. To separate yourself from the noise, there's many exercises, even work it out promotes, you know, a quieter mind. Everything that we do, through cloudiness or clarity, we're, we're trying to find a comfortable seat and a quiet mind. Everything. Every drug we take, every um, time we work out, when we come out of it, there's a second, maybe a few seconds of stillness. And so meditation is the best tool known to man. Uh, repeatedly, people will say it's the very best tool to how you get a quiet mind. So it's been a pretty hectic and crazy day. We literally just got to um, presentation. So now we're literally getting ready to take this photo.
so i literally just got back into my hotel room from the party as you can tell my voice is pretty hoarse right now or just a little bit raspy from all the yelling and like laughing and giggling and just the crazy fun that i literally just had but i had to come back up to my room to get some rest because i'm flying tomorrow so pretty much just trying to get the last bit of my stuff situated um before tomorrow and um just really get some sleep i haven't really gotten any sleep since i flew in so it's crazy the party was absolutely amazing it's actually still going on right now but i'm just trying to be a good girl and get some sleep and organize everything so that tomorrow is just a smooth and quick day so i'm also trying to wash my hair in the morning just because my scalp is crying but other than that it's been an amazing trip like i'm super upset that i have to leave but you know until next time there will be plenty more events so i'm really looking forward to that but it just sucks like it's a big happy family that i pretty much was with these past two days and there was a lot of love and a lot of connections were made so that's the biggest thing but um yeah and then of course youtube with their little surprises so i came back to my room and then i have this cute little sprinkles box that was left for me so um it's a cute little cupcake i'm looking forward to busting this down um so i'm pretty much just gonna freshen up wash my face off and get my life together so that i can go to bed so i will see you guys in the morning okay hey guys what's up good morning um is here in my room I literally just finished um, packing all the rest of my stuff so now I'm just pretty much like sitting here um, looking outside my window the view is awesome guys so it's absolutely amazing um, but yeah I just pretty much wanted to um i guess get some morning sun in and just reflect on everything that has happened so far out here in la truly a monumental moment a really huge step for creators black creators on youtube in general like this was just the tip of the iceberg with this event that they held for us so i am super super honored and super super grateful for um having come out here and having had the opportunity to come out here we're happy that i did not you know um let my head pretty much get into a frenzy or say you know i'm sorry i can't make it because i don't think i would have ever been able to experience something like this the way um that I have these past two days that I've been here so it sucks really really bad that I leave today like I really wish I wasn't leaving but um you know it's it's time to get back to reality and it's time to also grind like this just made me want to work so much harder and um really just get my life and you know put more content out there and um just reflect on every little thing that is coming my way and say thank you thank you so much to youtube thank you to everybody that came out um just an awesome 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 event yeah i pretty much finished getting ready i washed my hair this morning and surprisingly enough i had enough time to just like wash it and um dry it so i'm not gonna wash it. go bare face because you know airport vibes i'm not trying to wear uh makeup and eventually fall asleep on the plane and smear makeup all over the place so um yeah you know just about to see what to do with my day i'm actually gonna try to head down and get a cup of tea because i'm craving some tea right now and i know that they start serving breakfast at 8 30 it is now 9 02 so i will check back in with you guys then later so many things I think I know And other things I think I don't But the only thing I know for sure is You'll never know if you don't try And see how it goes How will you ever know if you don't See how it goes, goes Yeah How will you 